An estimated 20 to 50 million people died from the Spanish flu in 1918 and 1919, which is more than the estimated 17 million deaths during World War I. It's called the Spanish flu because Spain was neutral during World War I, and none of the other European countries wanted to project weakness while the fighting continued. This particular strain was so powerful that it would turn your skin blue and fill your lungs with fluid, eventually causing suffocation and sometimes less than 24 hours. World War I actually helped the flu spread rapidly. As traveling soldiers spread the virus unknowingly. This combined with the idea that all the supplies and healthcare workers were on the battlefront, the home front was not ready for the flu. In the USA, an estimated 675,000 people died, which is more deaths than any single war in American history. Some Chicago factories got so worried about the flu spreading that they put wiring around water fountains to make sure workers didn't put their mouth on them and spread the virus. Some cities were so scared they shut down all public places and quarantined all infected individuals. More in the United States were overcrowded with bodies and many people had to dig their own family members' graves. Many famous people were infected by the flu and survived, including Walt Disney, sitting President Woodrow Wilson, and future President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Many historians called the Spanish flu the forgotten pandemic because it was overshadowed by the horrors of World War I. In a highly controversial lab experiment in 2014, scientists at University of Wisconsin created a virus that is only 3% different than the original Spanish flu. Do you think scientists should be doing doing stuff like this.